हेलो एवरी ओवान वेलकाम टू माई चैनल टेक क्वेस्ट लार्निंग पॉइंट आई होप यू अल आर डुईंग ग्रेट आई एम बस आर इन माई प्रिभिया डिटेल इन दिस सीरिज अफ एज यूर फंडामेंटाल आई अलरेडी डिसकसड ऑन द टपिक अफ मनीटरिंग टुल्स इन एज यूर टूडे आई एम गोयिंग टू स्टार्ट ए डिसकशन ऑन द टपिक कोर आर्किटेक्चरल कम्पोनेंट्स अफ एज यूर This tutorial explains the basic infrastructure components of Azure. You will learn about the physical infrastructure, how resources are managed, and to be clear how to create an Azure resource. I can assure you all that this tutorial will make sense to you about Azure fundamentals. The ultimate target of this tutorial is to make you Prepare for the exam AZ900 Microsoft Azure Fundamentals. If anyone want to be the Microsoft Certified Azure Fundamentals, this tutorial will be right choice for them to make clear the exam AZ900 Microsoft Azure Fundamentals. This tutorial is derived from the Microsoft Learning Path for Azure Fundamentals exam. So anyone can rely on this tutorial to take the preparation for the exam AZ900 Azure Fundamentals. In this tutorial, you will be introduced to the core architectural components of Azure. Here I will discuss about the physical organization of Azure, data centers, availability zones and regions, and about the organizational structure of Azure, resources and resource groups, subscriptions and management groups. The exam AZ900 Microsoft Azure Fundamentals includes three knowledge domain areas such as 1. Describe cloud concepts, number 2. Describe Azure architectural and services, and number 3. Describe Azure Management and Governance. This tutorial is the ninth episode of the Azure Fundamental series and it is a part of the three knowledge domain. What is Azure? Azure is Microsoft's cloud computing platform with an ever expanding set of services to help you build solutions to meet your business goals. Azure supports infrastructure, platform, and software as a service computing with services such as virtual machines running in the cloud, website and database hosting, and advanced computing services like artificial intelligence, machine learning, and IoT. Most of Azure services are pay-as-you-go. You only pay for the computing time that you use. If business needs complete control over your computing environment, Azure allows you to host virtual machines in the cloud. You can create virtual machines from scratch, upload your own virtual hard drive, or choose from an array of templates that Azure provides. Azure also provides cloud-based storage, which allows you to store your application or backup data safely and securely. Azure's app services provide a scalable hosting platform, where developers can create web-based applications using popular development frameworks. You can easily deploy, operate, and scale your apps in a fully managed environment. With Azure Functions, you can create event-driven serverless applications with no coding required. Azure Container Instances and Azure Kubernetes Service allow you to deploy containerized applications with fully managed services. Azure offers a choice of fully managed relational and in-memory databases spanning proprietary and open source engines and microsoft's cosmos db provides support for several popular nosql apis azure's artificial intelligence and machine learning services empower developers and data scientists with a wide range of productive experiences for building training and deploying machine learning models faster 
Azure's regional data centers allow you to distribute your applications globally so you can locate your data in apps where they are needed most thereby improving your application performance for your customers. The Azure portal lets you create, configure and control all your services and resources from a single easy to use web based interface. Microsoft Azure offers a wide array of cloud computing services where infrastructure management, scalability, availability, and security are handled for your saving time and money. In order to take advantage of the wide array of Azure services, you will need to first sign up for an account. If you are completely new to using Azure, you can begin exploring what Azure has to offer by sign up for an Azure free account. An Azure free account includes access to 20 Azure products free for 12 months, access to additional products that are always free and $200 credit to spend during your first 30 days. For more information on signing up for an Azure free account, head here. If you work for a large organization, you may be able to purchase access through a Microsoft representative or through a Microsoft partner. Finally, you can purchase access directly through azure.com with pay-as-you-go pricing. You pay only for what you use each month with no upfront commitment and you can cancel at any time. Once you have an active Azure account, you may want to create additional subscription for resource or billing management purposes. If you have multiple subscriptions, you can organize them into invoice sections. Each invoice section is a line item on the invoice that shows the charges incurred that month. You can also set up multiple invoices within the same billing account by using billing profiles. Each billing profile has its own monthly invoice and payment method. Once your account is active and billing is set up, you are ready to start using Azure. As a part of your subscription, you have 24-7 access to online documentation, community support and new Azure capabilities demo videos created by Azure engineers. For more information on the support resources available to you, head here. The core architectural components of Azure may be broken down into two main groupings, the physical infrastructure and the management infrastructure. Here I will discuss in briefly about physical infrastructure. The physical infrastructure for Azure starts with data centers. Conceptually, the data centers are the same as large corporate data centers. They are facilities with resources arranged in racks with dedicated power, cooling and networking infrastructure. As a global cloud provider, Azure has data centers around the world. However, these individual data centers are not directly accessible. Data centers are grouped into Azure regions or Azure availability zones that are designed to help you achieve resiliency and reliability for your business critical workloads. Regions A region is a geographical area on the planet that contains at least one but potentially multiple data centers that are nearby and networked together with a low latency network. Availability zones Availability zones are physically separate data centers with an Azure region. Each availability zone is made up of one or more data centers equipped with independent power, cooling, and networking. An availability zone is set up to be an isolation boundary. Region pairs. Most Azure regions are paired with another region within the same geography, such as US, Europe, or Asia, at least 300 miles away. This approach allows you 
for the replication of resources across a geography that helps reduce the likelihood of interruptions because of events such as natural disasters, civil unrest, power outages or physical network outages that affects an entire region. For example, if a region in a pair was affected by a natural disaster, services would automatically fail over to the other region in its region pair. Sovereign region In addition to regular regions, Azure also has sovereign regions. Sovereign regions are instances of Azure that are isolated from the main instances of Azure. You may need use a sovereign region for complaints or legal purposes. Azure Management Infrastructure The management infrastructure includes Azure resources and resource groups, subscriptions and accounts. Understanding the hierarchical original will help you plan your projects and products within Azure. Azure Resource a resource is the basic building block of Azure. Anything you create, provision, deploy, etc. is a resource. Virtual machines, virtual networks, databases, cognitive services, etc. are all considered resources within Azure. Resource group. Resource groups are simply groupings of resources. When you create a resource, you are required to place it into a resource group. While a resource group can contain many resources, a single resource can only be in one resource group at a time. Azure Subscriptions In Azure Subscriptions are a unit of management, billing and scale similar to how resource groups are a way to logically organize resources. Subscriptions allow you to logically organize your resource groups and facilitate billing. A subscription provides you with architecture and authorized access to Azure products and services. A subscription provides you with authenticated and authorized access to Azure products and services. It also allows you to provision resources. An Azure subscription links to an Azure account which is an identity in Azure Active Directory, Azure AD, or in a directory that Azure AD Trust. Azure Management Groups Azure Management Groups provide a level of scope about subscriptions. You organize subscription into containers called management groups and apply governance conditions to the management groups. All subscription within a management group automatically inherit the conditions applied to the management group the same way that resource groups inherit settings from subscriptions and resources inherit from resource groups. At the last stage of this tutorial, I want to review the tutorial in terms of the following topics. Region. A region is a geographical area on the planet that contains at least one but potentially multiple data centers that are nearby and network together with a low latency network. Availability zone. Availability zones are physically separate data centers within an Azure region. Each availability zone is made up of one or more data centers equipped with a independent power cooling and networking. Region pair. Most Azure regions are paired with another region within the same geography at least 300 miles away. Resource A resource is the basic building block of Azure. Anything you create, provision, deploy, etc. is a resource. Virtual machine is considered as a resource within Azure. Resource group Resource groups are simply groupings of resources. When you create a resource, you are required to place it into a resource group. Subscription In Azure, subscriptions are a unit of management, billing, and scale. A subscription provides you with authenticated and authorized access to Azure products and services. 
Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you all have been able to take the idea about the core architectural components of Azure. If you think this tutorial is helpful for learning the Azure Cloud Computing, please click on the like button and request you all to share it more and more to the persons who are searching the tutorial like this. If you have any questions on this tutorial, opinions and queries about this channel, please type this in the comment box. You also mail to me. In the description box, email ID is given for you. Kindly subscribe to this channel and click on the bell button so that you can get notification when new tutorial is published.